right then, let's make a start. you awake? You are. I'm sorry about that. It's going to make this an awful lot more unpleasant. I would ask if you know where you are, but you won't, so it really doesn't matter. What you will have realised by now is that you can't move and you can't talk. And that is deliberate because I can't work in noisy conditions. The people who I work for are very, very unhappy with you. More so than I am. If they'd have had their way, you'd have been in here right now, but I don't think here is the best place for you. I think you are more useful to us alive. And therefore, I am going to be merciful to you today. And rather than kill you, I'm simply going to Remove a couple of organs, and then I'll be out of your way. Nothing that you can't live without. I'm thinking one of your kidneys and part of your liver. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Excellent. Well, I suppose we should make a start. I would suggest, if you can, move your eyes to not look down. The benefit of not being able to move means also that you'll be unable to feel. And that's lucky for you because this would hurt otherwise. So. I may as well just get started. You will be okay. Uh, well, I would imagine there is massive infection coming your way after this. But I am rather skilled at what I do. So the operation part will be easy. Once it's done, I will cover it up because there's all sorts of flies and insects and wonderful things in here. I think I saw some stray cats on the way in. Should you recover feeling part of the way through, I would strongly, strongly recommend you don't move. It won't do you or me any good. So in the meantime, sweetie, you have one job. Don't die. Okay? Marvellous. So, before you woke up, I was getting everything ready 
some nice sterile tools, would you believe? But um, I'm not going to bother with the scrubs, the mask, the hat, all of that, because let's face it, me being super sterile at this point, just not worth it. Okay. However, if you can close your eyes, I would recommend it. But if not, I'd best make a start. I have other places to be. Believe it or not, I have better places to be than this old, abandoned hospital. But where, you ask? Huh. Who knows? Right. So. Here I go. <laughs> I would, well, would you like me to describe what I'm doing? At the end of the day, <laughs> I've given you the idiot's guide <laughs> to what's happening. In an ideal world I would have had you laid flat, but uh, you have to work with what you've got. <laughs> the trick to this is to be in and out as fast as possible. But I can take a little more time, as you can't feel. But I can't move you, so everything is from the front. It's going to make it a little more awkward. It will increase the recovery time, I can't lie. But that's fine. I'm going to make both incisions now, may as well, rather than having to start again. But that's fine. <laughs> Don't worry. You won't see anything unless you look. There won't be anything to... Uh, I mean, you are losing a lot of blood, but that's fine. I bought things to plug it up with and all sorts, and... Uh, we're fine. We're fine. So, I'm just going to have a quick look. The lights in here, not ideal. Still with me? Yeah. Amazing. Just going to have a look. So, I've been hearing about everything you've been up to. I understand completely why my bosses would be mad. However, I've heard of much worse. I think we'll be fine. So, okay. You don't need to worry about any of this. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, the dust in this place. Okay. Hmm. This is some of my colleagues come to retrieve you. They'll have to wait. I'm not done yet. Not while you still have all your organs. <laughs> Although, I do feel that once this is over, surely it's debt repaid, right? Surely. But I'm not the boss. So, I don't know. Okay. Clean this off. And then... Comfortable. <laughs> okay. Removal time. Big deep breath if you can. If not, imagine it. This will all be done. Very quickly. Ready? Ready. <laughs> I say that 
I enjoy the quiet. Sometimes it can be a little too quiet. But that's fine. It's going rather well. of being able to live with one kidney. There will be some lifestyle adjustments. But hey, lots of people who are way better behaved than you. Manage it. Just require a little care and attention from some healthcare professionals. And then it should be something you can manage. One second. I can't talk and remove organs at the same time. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. I'll plug it. I'll plug it for a moment. Anyway, well, we don't want to lose too much blood because when you do get that feeling back, Sure, you'll want to go off to the hospital and see what they can do <laughs> for you. And I won't have it said that I did a bad job. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's a professional job and it will be identified as such. But that's okay. I may even pop in to see how you're doing because after all you won't remember me you won't remember ever having met me won't that be strange the person checking in on you who you've never met is actually the woman that removes your organs. <laughs> How's that, sweetie? All nice and plucked. Minus one kidney, do you feel lighter? Do you suddenly feel less able to drink as much alcohol as you once could? <laughs> it's fine. And be grateful I didn't decide today to take your eyes. I still might. Maybe just this one. <laughs> no. I'm not as bad as they are. So... I've still got some work to do. Ready again? Yes, no. Blink once for yes, twice for no. You don't have a choice. Here I go. Okay. This one's a bit trickier. But again, it's not beyond my capabilities. There will be some scarring. But I will endeavour to stitch it as reasonably as I can. But I don't want to take too long. The fact that you're awake means that you might start feeling things again soon. And whilst I would say I don't want you to have to feel this, 
it's more that I don't want a smack in the face. Because I would do exactly that if I were sat in your position. <laughs> it's okay. I get it. This must be very scary, but keep telling yourself you won't remember a thing. So I don't have to feel bad either, do I? I wonder if you'll learn from this. I wonder if you'll learn your lesson about who to mess with and who not to. When to fall in line. When to listen to any warnings that you're issued with. And what the consequences are. <laughs> Here I go again. Slightly trickier this time. But it will be fine. Again, don't look down. <laughs> it's funny. I don't think our paths have crossed before. I thought I knew everybody in our organisation from the ground up, but clearly not. The first I heard of you was when I was asked to pop over here this evening. This one is bleeding a little more. We'll plug it up, it's fine. I think we'll be okay. Mm. I get asked to do this a surprising amount. But you know, it pays well. <laughs> it pays very well. And at the end of the day, any remedial work needs doing, you can head to the emergency room later. It's okay. This one's not as, well, you don't need to know. As I say, don't look, don't listen. It's fine. One more for luck. One more for luck. <clears throat> now then, sweetie. That's the worst part done. That's the difficult part. And you did very, very well. What's left to do now? Mm, I'm still deciding on this eye. It's one step too far, I think. What happens now is simply this. I'm going to stitch you up to give you half a chance. And then, that's us all finished here. How does that sound? Okay. I'm going to grab the packing out of this one. And then we'll get cracking. Okay. So nearly there. See? In. And out. Like a flash. These really did do their job. Pleased I bought them now. There is very little in the way of equipment and resources here. I've not been here before. I hope never to be here again, but you don't know. I'd imagine you hope the same. Okay, so 
going to do now is stitch. Okay. Hmm. I have some sailing here. Do I waste it on you? Yeah. I keep thinking of those assessments that they're going to do at the emergency room. I won't be judged. Okay, here we go. As I say, based on where we are, based on what we've done and the tools I've been using. There's a 100% chance of a massive infection. <laughs> However, you'll be fine. It's just... It is what it is. And think, it could have been worse. You could have seen somebody who wasn't me today. There are people in my organisation who you really would not want to encounter in such a place as this. In many ways, you're very lucky. <laughs> We'll do for this one. Let's tie this off. Got it. Great. Now, these are not dissolvable stitches. They will need removing. However, I would imagine that will happen sooner rather than later. So don't worry. Right. This one. Ready. Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> so. The first thing you'll want to do. If you do retain any memory. Is call somebody. Use your phone. It's in your pocket. I should have taken it away, but I think you've been through enough tonight. I really won't. Yeah, the judgment's coming. That's okay. The staff at the emergency room do a wonderful job, so I won't deny them. And hey, who knows? I may even be there when you arrive. <laughs> oh well, this side is just... I thought I'd messed up, but it's okay. It's okay. Almost there. Almost there. I would say that you'll be in the hospital for a couple of weeks. Depending on how quickly you can get to the emergency room. We'll find out, won't we? That's this one done as well. Gosh. I ought to take a picture. For a rushed job. This is good. Marvellous. 
what I'll do is I'll cover them up for you. Okay. Because I'm not completely bad. Yeah. I lose the gloves at this point. The worst of the bleeding done. And to be honest, there's blood everywhere, but don't look. You did have your wallet, so I'll take some money for some new clothes. Thank you so very much. Let's stick this down. And then we're done. I will be... I say but a memory, but it won't even be that. A little coat. You may or may not have been here at all. But if anything manages to creep through into your memory, let it be this. Don't cross us again. I want to have to do this again. I was about to say, hold that there. If our paths do cross again, I guarantee it won't be as pleasant as this. It almost wasn't as pleasant as this, this time. Two more things for you. Number one, I just happened to leave behind some painkillers because I promise you, when the feeling comes back, it's going to sting. And secondly, and this is where fate is intervening on your behalf. I found these just over there. Why in this room is beyond me. But take a look in there. They're antibiotics. I'm going to put them right next to you. Right next to the painkillers. Take some. Once that feeling comes back. Well, as I say, I hope to never see you again. Because if I do, I will definitely be coming after that eye. Your phone's in your pocket. Your pills are there. And I, well I'm gone, I will see you.